I know I have been boring with my S20 rants, but bear with me for a few more minutes as I want to show you the case that I have purchased for this phone. It's, uh, it's of a very enticing design, it's a bit polarizing. I find it uh, cutesy retro and I even called it a fridge shape from the 50s, you know those rounded ice boxes but one of my friends has aptly pointed and attributed this design to a suitcase which I think is more adequate. As for the construction, it's of great quality even though it's just painted plastic and you can see here on the top where the two halves meet. It's um, quite, um, quite an ingenious design, by the way it's a two material in uh, injection in mold. But anyway, I shall not be insisting on this since I don't have the proper knowledge to explain all, all of the process. As I said, the construction, it's got great quality even though it's just painted plastic. I've seen some reviewers on YouTube cl complaining about these two kickstands, but honestly, I just like the cutout of the design and I don't really care for them at all whether they're resistant or not. They're nicely built and they have their spring action to them. Have a listen. Uh, way better than any off-brand case out there. An important benefit of this case though, where which nobody seems to touch upon is the compatibility with the screen protectors. I don't know it, whether it's because Samsung applied the screen protector on this phone from new and has therefore designed the case with this in mind, or is it because the curved screens are less obvious and require a more per permissive fixation point to the case Say, uh, compared to older generation like generations like the S7 or S8. At any rate, it's a most welcome design trait, not having to uh, screw up, uh, mess up your um, screen protector uh, due to uh, using a case. Well, at any rate, this case is called the EFRG9 ATCSE GEU, quite a mouthful, and it seems to be a reused design. I found it on the S9 and S10 series before. It's a bit chunky to, due to the high mil STD 810 military grade protection level but it also hints at a sporty offbeat design, like a pair of easygoing sneakers. It's quite different and really, I like it. If you like a slim design case, it's definitely not for you. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the difference in the screen. So it goes over the screen to protect it by at least 1.5 to 2 millimeters. So it's not a slim design, it's quite chunky. But if you want a high quality phone case with great protection, I wholeheartedly recommend it. The finish is glossy, but the bi-component rubbery plastic on the upper half combined with the ridged design offer excellent grip. You could get it in black as well, but that one is really a fingerprint magnet, so I wouldn't recommend it. Plus, this gray one looks uh, a bit more lively as it makes a bold fashion statement. I paid only 5 euros for mine, which is quite a shocker, as it should cost upwards to 30 euros but even at that price point, I can see its usage. So that has been it for me and my S20 reviews, opinions and experiences. And remember, I buy mostly old and obsolete uh, quirky techno junk, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.